It was an evening of patriotism and reflection as the 2017 investiture ceremony got underway. In his address, President David Granger underscored the significance of the national awards. Awards celebrate the contribution of citizens to the common good. Awards epitomize the esteem in which the recipients are held by a grateful nation. Awards embody the exemplary service and high values of citizen success. Awards encourage others, especially the young, to emulate the elders' achievements. The head of state and members of the Advisory Council for the Orders of Guiana offered sincere congratulations to all the awardees. Info Hub spoke to recipients of the Order of Arima, Kasik Crown of Honor, Golden Arrow of Achievement, and Order of Service. It's an inspiration for me. It's like something that I didn't expect. I work without expecting that I would have get some kind of award, you know, but and this is what I got to pass on to the generation to tell them that you do your best in whatever you do. I'm doubly humbled and touched because um, my father, uh, former Chancellor George, when he was Chief Justice, um, was awarded the Cassie Crown of Honor. So for me, it is a, a double honor, a double blessing, um, because I remember him today. And I must thank my family and friends supporters for all that the support that they've given me over the years that has allowed me to reach to this point in my career and to be of service to Guyana. I feel great that Guyana recognizes uh, both journalists and broadcasters and members of the media in a way that uh, the nation could look at us and see that we have done work, exceptional work. It's a good feeling to know that there are persons in the society that the society uh, can emulate and can continue to love and to ensure that those who are coming after us can look up to persons and see what they've achieved and where they can go. I am certainly grateful to be considered. Um, it's been a lot of years of work, but I hope that people who are equally inspired and dedicated uh, get recognized in the future as well. I feel very honored to be recognized with the Discipline Service Medal. I give God praise and thanks for this recognition. Um, after giving 17 years of service to the Ghana Prison Service, I must say that the journey has not been easy thus far. I believe that despite persons will not recognize the importance of, some persons might not recognize the importance of recognizing someone. Um, this is a very honorable moment for me. And I will safely say that I will continue to give of my best for the development of the Ghana Prison Service and this nation at large. I am happy that my religion uh, was recognized because the citation read that I am the Baha'i representative and the secretary of the interreligious organization of Guyana. So, um, and as the uh, president mentioned in his final remarks, it's really all about service and that's what the Baha'i faith is about, service to humanity. I feel mostly humbled because there are so many people who work in sport, all volunteers, all giving up their time. So I think I'm only representing them. So it's not just an award for me, but it's an award for all of the persons who I've worked along with over the years and who have helped me. The national awards were established following Guyana's independence from the United Kingdom. The first appointments to the Orders of Guyana came in 1970 and were presented through 2002. However, there was a pause until 2015. President Granger has vowed that never again will the government disregard the importance of the national honors system and promised to identify notable Guyanese every year to receive the awards.